Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make your drawings big, bold, and bright by adding lots of detail. So let's do it. So today we're gonna to be learning all about how to add detail to our pictures and how to make our pictures big, bold, and bright. But what does that mean, big, bold, and bright? Well, let's look at these two pictures that I drew. Can you tell which one is big, bold, and bright? You're right, it's this one. That's because I used a black marker to outline, I added lots of detail, and I colored it in so there's not much white space left over. This picture gives the reader, or whoever's looking at my picture, more information by using detail. So say your teacher or someone asks you to draw, what did you do this weekend? and you wanted to tell them that you were playing with your brother or sister outside your house. Well, we have the boy and the girl playing outside. You can tell it's outside because there's a sun and there's a bit of grass and then there's the house, but you don't really tell the reader much else about what you did. In this picture, you can see that they were playing outside on the slide. You can tell it was a beautiful day because there's a sun and a blue sky. You can also tell the time of year because of the green tree and the green grass. By adding detail, you are telling the reader more information about your picture or your story. So, when you're drawing pictures, you wanna make sure you add lots of detail and try your best to color it in. While this is a great start, we wanna eventually get here. And it does take a lot of work, but take your time and enjoy it. So we're gonna draw another picture and I'm gonna show you how to add detail. So I'm gonna do it on the back of this, this page right here. So someone asks, what did you do with your weekend? Maybe all you did was sit on the couch and watch TV. That's okay. So what do we need to draw? Well, let's first draw us. So even if you draw stick people, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna try and draw a bit more of a 3D. So I'm gonna use shapes for my body. that, my socks, my hair, so I have long hair, like that, my hands. It's small, but there's me. Now that's not all we want to draw. We said we were at home watching TV on our couch, so we need to draw a couch. So here I'm going to draw my couch. Armrest over here. Armrest over here. Here's the bottom of the couch and the back of my couch just by using rectangles. Okay, so there's my couch and there's me. But what else do we need to draw? We need to draw a TV. Okay, so TV's like a rectangle. And maybe it sits on a table. Can't forget the table. There's our TV. Now, you could stop right there, but you wanna add more detail. You wanna add, um, what does your house look like? Are there pictures on the wall? Were you sitting there watching TV with anyone? I was. Actually, let's draw some pillows on our couch too, because there are some comfy pillows. I was watching TV with my, let's see if you know. my dog. I have a really big dog and his name is Oliver and he has black ears. There, I was sitting and watching TV with Oliver. What else can I draw? Well, I have some pictures on the wall behind my couch. So I'm going to draw the frames. I have a big one like that. You can go into detail what the pictures are if you want. One says home, sweet home. I can't really draw it all, so I'm just gonna pretend. One is a deer. A reindeer. <laughs> and then the other one is like mountains and stuff. So there's some pictures on my wall. I also have a carpet in my house. 
I also have a lot of kids toys in my house because I have a one-year-old son. So I'm gonna draw his favorite drum with the drumsticks. I'm gonna draw a teddy bear. And then maybe I'll draw my son crawling on the floor. So here he is. And he's a little bit of hair like that. Like that, there's my son. Okay, I also have really big windows in my house. Here's the ledge, we'll just pretend the, I have a bookshelf. Maybe I'll draw my bookshelf. And it has books on it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna try and add as much detail as you can. So here's my window and I have some curtains and maybe you can see the tree outside. And the fence in my backyard that and then over here hmm you can see my staircase so let's do the stairs because I have stairs that go up to the bedroom like that and look at all that detail I just added okay and all you asked was what did you do on the weekend and all I was doing was sitting and watching TV oh I need a remote to turn on the TV my son loves to play with the remote. And just by drawing a picture of you sitting and watching TV, you're also telling the reader so much about your house. You're telling them what it looks like outside, who you were with, what is in your home. Maybe you were also eating some snacks, so let's draw a table, because I love snacks. Okay, maybe a bowl of popcorn. Okay, so just by adding detail to your picture, you are telling the reader so much information. So now that we have our outline, it's time to color it. This may take a while, so I'm gonna speed this up a bit. Now a few tips when coloring in your picture, try and color in one direction, going from side to side, rather than up and down and all around. It just looks a lot neater. Also, try and use heavy pressure and lots of color when coloring in your picture. It just makes it look nice and bold and bright. Also, try and leave the least amount of white space that you can, just so your picture doesn't look incomplete. And there you have it, my big, bold and bright picture. Even though my house is full of white furniture and the walls are kind of gray, you know, it doesn't matter. I still added tons of color where I could, in the books, in the couch, outside, our clothes, some of the toys, you know, there are lots of places to add color. So in your drawings from now on, try your best to make your pictures big, bold, and bright, and add lots of detail. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a good day guys, bye.